everyone, welcome to another episode of Luck Light Plays. We're continuing our run through of Front Mission, and we're in the middle of a battle uh, attacking this uh, fort, Fort Morgan, also known as the Land Destroyer, against uh, Colonel Kirkland of the USN and his troops, which includes a lot of stationary uh, turrets and cannons and the like. Um, Last episode we were dealing with this match, and uh, it was a slow one because I wanted to essentially not run into too much trouble too quickly, which uh, I think it's paid off, honestly. I think uh, we're doing pretty well. We're almost done with it, uh, so this episode's going to be finishing up this battle and seeing what's next. Not sure why that uh, turret had a cicada body, but sure. Alright, so I'm gonna move Alder first. I'm actually gonna move him up here. And there is a reason. And it's not just to shoot rockets at uh, Colonel Kirkland. Missing completely. Meanwhile, let's see, what do we got left over here? There's one turret up there. And there's a turret there, too. So let me see if I can target that turret up there. I cannot. How about if I go over here? Nope. Okay, let's uh, stay short range here. I got three guys here that I have to deal with. You could have done Bur uh, better there, Barunga. Alright, Cicada, now you can move up. Natalie. And we'll just mow him down. That was the level 10 guy. That was a, the weakest guy on the map. Which shows a lot. <laughs> we'll get him, Keith. Ooh, nice work. That double turned into a triple. And JJ... Go after the last guy here. All right, that deals with the troops. So let us try to get to that turret up there and deal with it accordingly. Here comes Kirkland. And he's pretty pissed off. He seems to have a long range weapon, missiles, and completely destroyed Alder. Great. Let's move up and let's move up and deal. Missing. Awesome. And Cicada. And it's done for. Now, I don't know if that's going to end the match completely. Nope, it doesn't. Alright, good. Still got to deal with the turrets. Which, here we go. No 
reason to do it. How about you, Gregorio? Can you pull out a shot? Yes, you can. Alright, knocking that wall completely down. And our last target is that turret. So it's going to take us a couple rounds to get to it, unfortunately. However, since I'm here, there is a secret item on this map, so let's go get it. Somewhere behind this wall on the northeast, on the northwest corner there. So I just gotta find it. All right, half of this challenge is closing the distance without getting my any more of my guys uh, destroyed. So go get him, Gregorio. shot on me. Ooh, ouch. And that was a fun sound effect, too. Boo! <laughs> Alright. And here it is. The Zeege Rifle. Look at that attack power. 99 max. Max hit rating. Infinite shots. It is the best weapon in the game, and it's kind of a secret weapon. Uh, for that reason, it, it will kill anything in one hit, or any body part that you target in one hit. For that reason, I'm going to say this now, I'm not going to use it, unless I absolutely, positively, 100% have to, because it will take, it will suck the fun out of the game. I, it, everything will just be too easy. I don't think it was meant for you to find uh, that easily. But it was there for like, you know, if you know about it, there it is. So I wanted to show you, the, hey, it's right there. And it's really awesome. But I do not plan on using it. Unless I absolutely have to. And I'll let you know. I'll be like, alright, I'm... I can't do anything else, I'm gonna have to use this rifle. So I will save it. And uh, I don't think any more needs to be said. So let's finish this off. Closing the gap. And, and, and so ends the battle. No, it wasn't easy. So this was Fort Modus? Or was it Fort Morgan? Uh, it's, you know... <laughs> to repair. Or maybe I was the... Maybe Fort Morgan was the front line of Fort Monus? Anyway, moving right into battle. What is that? Oh, it's Grieg. Ok, 
Okay. Sea King type. Can move faster. So yeah, it's you. You're Sakata. <laughs> Alright, so we have Alder back. So it's not like not going back to town. Screwed me over. I'm still fine. But I can start bringing everybody now. So I'll bring the Clunker. I'll bring Badger. I'll bring Paranga. And the battle starts. So here's what we're dealing with. We got two guys there. Got uh, four back there, five. And then over here we have the four, and the, including the Sea King. And over here we have four more, including a truck. So I think I'll be heading to the right here. What are we dealing with here? Missile air? Missile air. So, might as well start strong. Luckily we don't have to deal with any more turrets, any more machine guns. We can move freely, or semi-freely, without having to worry about catching heavy artillery fire. I believe I can shoot some more rockets here. The Ragos launcher has great range. Alright. I'm actually not going to move too far in quite yet. See how they move. If they come after me, if they stay still. That'll allow me to strategize as much as I can here. Alright, truck. I wonder if I can go around. I don't recommend it though. Alright, we got movement. It looks like the Sea King is backing up, so I'll use that time to uh, deal with these guys. And they're blasting me. Seems they put their missilers in front. Which is a smart move. I'll give them that. Oh, there is another truck back there. And they are not slowing down. Shield did a good job blocking all that. Alright, my turn. So we got the two guys up there, two guys on the right. Let's move. Here come some uh, attackers as well. This should uh, soften them up uh, quite well before I get there. And 
here I am. <laughs> and my switch kicked in, blasting and clear off the screen. Goodbye. Moving Keith in. Oh, there is a guy back there. He's not going to have any legs left in a second. Alright, so who's there? Huh. There's a missler there that I just missed. I thought the uh, screen would... Show me him. Glad I saw him. It would have been silly if I didn't attack him. Especially because my characters can see him. Like, they're this giant tower is not blocking them. Alright, so where is it? Missler is right there. Cicada's right there, too. What if I stand there? Of course you missed. Alright, Polly. Do your thing. There we go. Thing done. I don't have any hidden guys. We've got Hans here. Hans has a uh, level 2, so hopefully it'll hit. And we got him. Okay. Yeah, I, I move a lot on the clean roads. Good, stunned him. Nope, woke him up. Let's see, can I get to the next guy? Nope. If I can missile them. Turn. I'll hit with the Piz 8. Couldn't break a body part, could you? And the beep beep truck. I don't want to move him too far up, because then he'll start getting missiled. Looks like the soldiers are running for it now. So either they're trying to lure me in, or they're... I don't know, their AI is weird, I don't know. <laughs> okay, what do we got? So I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna try to move around here, see what we got. Where is the guy I just attacked? If I move all the way up... There he is. Alright, so I got three guys here.
Might as well go after that missile a bit. And Sakata. I'll have him run over here and deal with this guy, that way the other three can move up. And I'm still gonna have them move up, because he's done for. The missile around him. Alright, Natalie. There's a missler up there in a Type 65. I do not know what that is, but I'm going to hit it. <laughs> oh, that's a Sakata Industries uh, robot. That was that ugly one that I saw. I was like, what is that thing? Alright, there's the missler. Um, I thought that was a missile. But there's Paranga. So why can I attack? There we go. There we go. That's what I wanted. Send JJ in. And we'll have him attack the guy I was attacking. Completely missing. You're supposed to be better at this. Alright, got him. And Polly. Pick on the truck a little bit. No, there's no reason to do it. Sorry, I had to think about that one for a second. <laughs> up as well. And he'll finish off the truck. Yeah, too bad the bomb doesn't, uh, the second missile doesn't keep flying and hit somebody else. That'd be kind of cool. Alright, what else do we have around here? I know there's an attack 65. Type 65, there he is. Oh, maybe not. Crap, where was he? Alright, there's Gregorio. Oh, he was farther up. I actually need to, I should probably look and see where the rest of the guys are. Uh, we'll leave Sakata for that one. So we got the five guys there. And another missler. Where is the... Where's the big guy? Uh... Oh, he'll show up eventually. Oh, that's Keith. So I can't tell, like, where these guys are now. And that's gonna be problematic. Ooh, 
Dragar is getting a little dangerous here. And here comes the troops. Alright, so on the next episode we will continue this fight and hopefully we can uh, finish off this area and be one step closer to winning this war. So, hope you come back for that. My name is Lucklight, thank you for watching, and have a good one.